Uh, thank you for taking the time to, to speak to us this morning, and uh, we're going to just ask you some questions and maybe get some advice from you. Um, firstly, can you offer any advice in overcoming and dealing with addictions? I think addiction is a start with a habit. If you want to change your habit, uh, you cannot change if you live in same place, same country, same house, same room. So you have to change out of form first. Like example, if you are used to it in your kitchen uh, for many, many years, and uh, you cannot, you cannot be able to change that uh, habit and what the how is going on your habit and the way to set up, and always you do the same thing. But if you want to change, you have to redecorate your house to ch kitchen to change to uh, uh, maybe dining room or maybe bedroom you have to have quite a big change in the outer form so then it gives you a kind of new habit so then you have the cho choice of the new habit whether you bring the old same habit or completely new habit so uh, I found most beneficial is to you have to change your your uh, your house maybe if you want to change the things because you cannot be uh, same friends same place same area going the same place you can't change so you have to new friends new way of thinking new life. Okay, and um, how can people then who are in recovery from addiction or alcoholism best protect themselves from relapsing and going back on drink or drugs? I think it's, uh, as I say, it's a, a, first you have new friends, not the same friends which you do the same thing every day, same time, same day, you go same place. So you have to you have to find a new friends, new friends which has a positive influence, and that influence is very strong because you are very vulnerable when you are, uh, uh, have bad habits and you are very vulnerable. You always, you may wish to change things, but you don't have guts enough to change your own uh, well, so you have to have a support of others, but their support have to be very positive support, which people will help you, people will encourage you, but don't they lead you same place what you used to be. So I think it's very much to do with a new new positive friends. And then you 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 have time to develop your own strength. And so it's a, maybe it's very good to meditation, learning meditation relaxation, mind training, but there is two, two kind of way to overcome difference. One is a very uh, very harsh way to try to train somebody. Some, sometimes it will work. Uh, some, some people which will work very, very slow, a gentle and a ki kindness, loving kindness, it's well able to change the way of our habits, but all the time you have to look in for good and positive people and to give a support, but not to lead you same old habit all the time. But I think you need it to out of form changement and in a form develop the strength in within yourself. It takes some time to order to achieve that. Okay, um, how can one learn to live with and accept the fear of losing a loved one, which seems to be a common problem faced by a lot of people? 
I think it. Um, I think it's very much to do with the society. When the society, and like especially in a European society, they always given freedom too early to the people like teenage. When it's not ready to uh, carry the freedom, um, then parents they push and say you need to develop your own freedom and you have to you have to do things you have to so there is a kind of loving kindness and it's very limited and you keep on pushing out from your say you now too old old you you cannot be in my house so there is age there is a kind of um, age concerned when you have to leave from from this so keep on pushing you have to have uh, your own identity you have to have your own uh, your own counts your your own friends so when you when you are not matured then most mistakes you make in, at that time and so the m- mistakes uh, become your habit and so you don't have time to uh, develop um, like if you try to put too much um, uh, um, uh, fertilize in the uh, uh, wrong kind of compost fertilize chemical fertilize it will grow very fast the plants but it doesn't last very long so if you want to Uh, plants which last and uh, long long time last and grow in a proper way you need less fertilize let it grow things in a more gentle gentle way and take its own nature so if we if we do this way i think we will have much less problems uh young young people the problems which we see is very much to do with how to manage the maturity during the young time and uh, people try to make decisions because uh, parents told you you have to make a decision your own decision they don't make you decision for you um so then you make many 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 mistakes so if we want to change this i think we have to, uh the whole the way of habit of our, our european system needed to change i think it's not just one person's ideas but i think majority of our we we are pushing too much uh, children out of uh, uh from our way we have like to think that this is um taking too much of my time and you have to go somewhere else and uh, it's not really kind of you don't have a very strong relationship you and your children mm-hmm.